Well, we got another game to go through. Light Apprentice. And... I always love when they have, like, you know, big high volumes in these games, but whatever. Alright, let's still see here. Light Apprentice, comic, uh, a comic game book, volume one. Uh, let's go with, um, let's see here. So easy, enjoy the story, no quest required to advance. Normal, face a real challenge, two quests required to advance, hard, fight tooth and nail, more qu most quests required to advance. Let's go with normal here. And we'll see what this game's all about. So, click press to continue, mouse wheel up to scroll up. Okay, so, Light Apprentice. Chapter 1, welcome to the party. Somewhere deep beneath the earth. <clears throat> A ray of hope shines through the darkness. Plob, the Blueling Wizard, level 3. We finally found you. There's hope indeed, Grandma. Boom! Whoosh! Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Did I miss anything? Yes. Yes, you died. My name is Tlob. Explorer Party 11. I am Nate. Light Apprentice Nate. At the plant service. So, what's the way out of this place? Nate loves a challenge. 59 and 59 hit points. He's got two strength, three speed, one intelligence apparently. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? Squish. Squish. Squishy. Squish. Be careful, Nate. Make a choice. Attack the creature or approach the creature? Well, let's approach the creature. Oh, it is so cute. Yes, but maybe you shouldn't get too that close. Oh, come on. Arr. What could possibly go wrong? Look out! Jump. I shouldn't be di shouldn't be this careless. We'll fight it. I shall put it to sleep. There's no reasoning with you, I see. All right. Well, apparently we're a comic book and we're doing comic book stuff. Here's a slime. It's fifty fifty. Alright, let's see, I can attack the defend. Let's just attack here. So click the screen when two rings are aligned for a successful hit. I have to click here, maybe? Oops, try again. We got a sort of action system here going. To do stuff. I'm going to get healed here. Hooray, I got healed. So you have to click or else you, you basically get stuff happening to you. So this is, this is like a quick time event type of game. And if you do it right, you get good damage. A 
we'll defend again. Try doing this again. Apparently we stunned it I guess that time, so it couldn't do anything. There we go. Hooray! I killed stuff, and I got a small healing potion. Hey, Tlob! Where are we, anyway? Somewhere deep down in a sovereign Zedharian region. Great! I can't wait to tell the others about this. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, more slimes! So I got a potion now I can do stuff with, but let's go with uh, attack. We'll attack this guy. There's a hit. Ow. Ow. So that slime. Hooray for heals! Ow. Thinking it's good hits too, I guess. So I guess when you defend, you get random like debuffs on the enemies, so they can't do as much stuff. And it's basically playing like a Final Fantasy type of game here a little bit, though in a comic book type of setting idea. The two more slimes killed. Got another small healing potion. Ha ha ha! Do you know how you got here? It is crucial information to me. Of course, it happened just yesterday. Are you alright? I... I don't remember how I got here. Nate, you've been... Nate! Stop. Leave him alone. Bob, Intellectual bullying wizard. Hit points for you 40. She's got a uh, strength of 1.5, speed of 2.5, and, and intelligence of 3.5. And okay, so Nate's up. Got a shield around him, apparently. We're gonna attack this lizard. Boink. Ow. Let's just defend ourselves, I guess. So one less endurance than that guy. Let's try to defend myself again. Or I did anything good to me. Wow, big critical. Ow. You know, I'm not really a big fan of quick time events in like, you know, computer games, but whatever. There are sometimes. Small revive potion. Huzzah! My powers, they don't seem to be the same. What's going on? Don't worry, Nate. We are having fun, aren't we? How should I tell him? Cheer up, Nate! Now let's find our way out of here. Saving. Alright, well, there I guess this is the introductory stuff. I'll... I'll try. 
Nate learns the cheer skill! Welcome to Adventure Mode! You can interact with objects in the environments by simply clicking on them. You can now access the inventory and the character menus at the top of the screen, where you can drag potions and equipment onto your characters. If you have trouble finding your way in the adventure mode, you can click the question mark in the top menu to toggle hints on and off. So I can open stuff. Found a small healing potion there. Whoops. So that's kind of annoying. Basically I hit that pipe and then like it sort of scrolled there a little bit too fast. That's being blocked apparently. Where are these? Crystals, Nate. They're everywhere. Where are these? Crystals, Nate. They're everywhere. Oh, I went up the ladder there. I guess we're going to fight these things. Bob joins the party. That means she is now playable. Alright, that's cool. What does Cheer do? So I have to hold down to basically with the desk. Here, increase the strength, speed, and intelligence of the party members for free turns. That's possibly useful. So click and drag the circle on top of the arrow as it hits the box. The closer you get, the baronet will cheer. So click and drag the circle. Let's see how this goes. Well, I failed that a little bit, but whatever. You have lots of different quick time events basically in this game. I guess I can't do anything for now. So she's got skills, she's got magic shields, she has a primer for free turns, based on Tob's intelligence. Heal. And burst. Shoots a fireball I made based on Tob's intelligence. Let's do that. Oh wow. So basically they're both attacking at the same time now. Click the burst orb with the mouse repeatedly to charge the skill. The more clicks, the more damage. Okay. So basically in this game you have like, you know, multiple things that'll basically happen. So basically you've got like, you know, like manage his stuff and her stuff basically at the same time. Let's see if I can do that. We'll basically go attack. And you're going to um, attack. There we go. Got a small healing potion out of that. Found our small healing potion. That fixed that, that's cool. There's uh, basically the menu stuff up here apparently, so... There's the options. Dragon um, items to equip slots to equip them for combat. Or drive them to prime member to icon to use an item. Alright. Oh, what that does for me. There's their stuff, I guess. I can view what they basically do and all that, what they have equipped. Their traits. It's a warrior trait. Increases by killing enemies. Pacifist trait. Increased by forgiving enemies. Alright, so if I want to take a pacifist to do stuff, but um, I guess if you're more of a warrior, you get more like stuff out of that. Tlob, she is Sorcerer trait, increased by casting destructive spells. Caretaker trait, increased by casting support spells. They got these traits apparently and stuff. There's lots of stuff in this game basically going on. I can return to main menu if I want to at any time, I guess, but we're just going to continue for now. Let's get rid of that for now. I gotta click this again. Where are these anyway? They look like pipes. 
What are they for? Alright, well, it looks like I'll have to redo this stuff again, but whatever. We'll just fix that up. I'll get the potion out of there. Let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time around. So let's see here. She can access prior member skills. Uh, skills can see skill, um, spirit points seen on the yellow bar. You gain one spirit, uh, spirit point every time a party member attacks or is attacked. Spirit is, is like potions shared by the party. Each character has a single uh, skill which does not take up a turn to use. Slobs is their heal skill. So apparently these are like skills that like are for both these guys here. That's good now. Let's see here, let's cheer on yourself. So I sort of did that right that time. I really don't get like how that sliding stuff works, but whatever. I sort of did it right that time at least. But you got stuff here. You got the shield thing. That thing, that thing. You're just going to attack. Almost killed it. You really have to figure out what, like, you know, wor works for what skill, basically, so... You have to manage a whole lot of stuff in this game, but whatever. Didn't really care. Just kill it. Hey, you leveled up that time. Cool. What does level up stuff do, I guess? He's not a little free. She's a little free. I'm not sure leveling up basically does anything outside of the way to saw there, but whatever. Alright, how do I get down here? Oh. We got a thing up, you basically can't click anything else. That's good now. That's being blocked. Let's go down here. Yeah, those are really in a fight. Float away. Ding. You can do a lot of damage with that burst thing, I guess. That's good now. Do yourself, I guess. So collect the stars of the cursor. Collect all to heal as much as possible, apparently. Okay. So you heal up a little bit. And you guys attack as well. Now here's a question. I wonder if, like, you know, the, there's, like, any initiative in this game, or is it always, like, your party goes, then their party goes, or if, like, you have mixed and matching and stuff. I'll probably need that. Evolve. We'll go up here. Please evolve. Now I can go on. Hooray! Let's fight these slimes, I guess. Alright, let's see what the um, other stuff she can do is. We can defend a little bit. And defend. So, there's defense. Not sure it really helps me a whole lot, but whatever. Let's attack you. And you know what? Let's just go with um, this now. See what it does. Magic shield. Use the mouse to connect all the dots to draw the shield. Finish it in time for the most protection. Alright. So, they got a small shield on him now. Ow. Well, the shield's helping him a little bit. Let's see here. You have to click to see what slime you're basically attacking to see what they got. So I'm both attack these guys. 
I was hoping I would actually, like, uh, you know, kill him outright and we can see possibly what she do if, like, you know, she can't target anything. Whatever. There's a little bit of heal. Boink! Boink! And done. Alright, well there's basically a bit more. I only plan to do this like, um, you know, just type of gameplay for a little bit just so you can get the idea. I don't want to go too, too, too far into the story, but... We'll stop basically at a boss or anything like that if there's anything like that. There's a slime here to fight, cool. You know, it looks like these sort of reset after like, you know, each fight, so that's cool. You know, let's, let's not do anything burst twice and see what happens if I do nothing. So nothing happens. Oh wow, those guys split. Interesting. It was possible to fill stuff, apparently. Oh, that's fine, we kill them both. No one's found. Uh, let's keep going up, I guess. Alright, we got a lizard man and those guys to fight. They might be interesting. Let's see here. Let's go with this on him. On him. There's a great one to kill that guy. Ow. Let's do protective barrier on him now. You guys defend. I failed to put up a shield because I didn't like draw anything there, so well. What this endurance is all about over here? Let's try this again, though. Match your shield. Oh, it's got completed there. Oh, that guy's got stunned. That guy's also stunned. So cool, we, we stunned him a little bit there. Let's have you do a heal. On Nate. That was a great heal. So I guess great is like the perfect, if you can get them done. What the heck does this do? Drive the slider up to 50 your enemies. Uh, how do I drag up two sliders? So I forget, forget my enemies apparently there. Hooray! Forgiving! You found a helmet! Congratulations on your first piece of equipment, you equip it into the top menu. Basically that. What does this do? This defense? Alright. Put that on him. What's over here? Look! A valve! This may be our way out of here! But don't touch the fan while it's moving. Hmm. May have to shut down the fan. Alright. Let's go up here, I guess, a little bit then. We have Valve here to open the flow and power the hatch. I wonder what that does for me. I open this hatch. Maybe we need to switch this power on? We have Valve here, I guess, to open it. 
Hey, the fan's off. Get this. Easy pulls, easy. Wow, that's a big one. Do you think we can get past it? We'll have to try. All right, well, I guess we're going to fight the big King Slime. King Slime and Little Slimes. Let's see here. Let's go with uh, Fireball on this guy. And you can defend. Kill that one. There we go. We killed the entrance of that guy a little bit. And that guy. Okay, let's see here. I want you to kill this guy. And you to defend again. Uh oh. Ow. Kill yourself. There we go. Then you need to attack. Attack. There we go. Ow. So attacking the form of build up your like, you know, your your skill points down here, or you'll be in trouble. There we go. Heal up full. You get to defend. You get to attack. There we go. Save you defending. You do attacking. Uh oh. Ow. He's down. Almost got the King Slime, though. Down he goes. And it looks like she still gets experience even though she died. That's interesting. Usually in these games, like, you know, you don't get experience, but apparently I guess you do. And apparently I don't get this stuff over here. So, that's, that happened. Let's see here. Uh, I guess we're done. That was a tough one. Maybe that slime lord was guarding the exit. Yes, look at door. Screech! What? What is this place? Alright, well, I think I basically got a good idea what the game's all about. So those are found in a secret lab from the old empire. That'll be something to look into, you know, if you're in into like the sort of game, but... I think I've shown off enough what the game's basically going to be sort of like. Basically you got like a sort of like comic book type of, uh, you know, thing going on. With like, you know, Final Fantasy-esque type of gameplay on top of it. And it looks like it'll be like more in one volume, so probably a series of these. Kind of like, you know, the other adventure games. Anyhow, hope you guys have enjoyed that little like quick uh, preview of what the game's all about. You can basically check it out on Steam, Light Apprentice.